Hello and welcome to tutorial number 72. In this tutorial, we're going to move to the next section is the surface after we finish the pattern. And as you know, the surface, we already used it. If you remember in the previous tutorial, the first time was when we used the copy object. We had this and we created surface from that body so that was the first time we used the surfaces and the surface is a non-existent solid has no thickness no mass and if you look to the left here we had already a solid body from before and when we created a surface it has another category here so it's called surface and if you look at the icons this extruded part cube and extruded cylinder has this icon as a tree and the surface has a hollow cube here so you have to differentiate between the solid and the surface and the surface is used to create more complicated surfaces or shapes that is quite hard to use it with the solid the solid features and uh, in the so in the inventor you have the surface is already included on the same 3d model bar and if you are familiar with the solid works you have and now we are in the SOLIDWORKS it has its own menu bar and it's include the extruded surface revolved sweep lofted surface and so on but the difference here in inventor that you can already use this 3d model features with the surface as well not separated in two different menus like in here in SOLIDWORKS for example here we have the solid body feature and here are the surfaces but in the inventor we have both we can you can work with both surfaces or solid bodies so in the next tutorial we're going to show you how to create your first surface with extrusion so see you in the next tutorial